stage, Ronald Franco. Oh, no applause. Oh, you expect a little encouragement, even in a picture hut. I I'll come in again. Now, get ready this time. Ready, Monty? Hello. How did that gag go? Well, now we'll start with the proceedings of a little ballad. It was Christmas Day in Leicester Square when an actor met an old-time friend who was going back to the village where their boyhood days they used to spend. Oh, give my love to Mum, he cried. Then nobly conquering pride-born fears, the actor turned away his head and murmured softly through his tears. Don't tell my mother I'm half of a horse in a panto for that would break my mother's heart. She knows I'm on the stage. I've told her I'm the rage. I said I always play the leading part. She thinks I'm a John Gielgud that somehow makes her feel good. Never let her know that I'm a sham And if she learns in due course That I'm half of a horse in a panto Don't tell her which half I am oh, A lot of very sad stories connected with our profession you hear about the girl who was so refined that she always played her cello side saddle? <laughs> ah, well, I'll explain that one next time I'm here. Now we um, have a rather sad thing too. I'd like you to imagine for a change that this is a, a studio, which it very nearly is, and as for myself, I'm just one of a crowd at a guinea a day. Not very proud of my work or my pay from morning to night. From morning to night. Waiting and standing about's no fun and there's nothing to show for it when you've done. From morning to night. From morning to night. The cameraman yawns, the producer yells. They blow their whistles and they ring their bells. A few decent words ever find their way. To one of a crowd at a guinea a day. One of a crowd in a film studio. Makes you feel sort of degraded, you know, when you've done what I've done, seen what I've seen, play what I've played in and been where I've been. I miss the stage when the lines are taught. Up on the long, down on the short, tie off in the centre, all set to begin. OK, Bill, ring the orchestra in. The rag goes up, the audience claps, putting an art into actor chaps. The human element, limes and footlights. And back to the funny old digs at nights and the landlady senior. You. you met with the news, she quite thinks that yours is the best of reviews they've had at the Royal. It's a bit of all right. So on through the week, twice every night, but the day's your own, and it's fun in the main, and you make new friends, and the Sunday train takes you along to one town more. Some of you probably played before, but this... Why, you hear the old darn day, and never a blinking word, you say. You've nothing to learn, less to forget. Instead of a stage, you put on a set, with amateur, drunkard, sinner and saint, standing about in a new sort of paint, doing odd jobs if they suit you or not, with not the remotest idea of the plot. Ten times through, and you find, no doubt, the bit you were best in is always cut out. Here is no laughter, music or song. Just a guinea a day when the days come along. Less commission, of course. <laughs> I'm not proud to be in a talkie, one of a crowd. Oh, one of a crowd and a guinea a day. I'm not very proud of me work or me pay. From morning to night. From morning to night. About's no fun, and there's nothing to show for it when you've done from morning to night, from morning to night. Now the small part man, he talks and he swanks. The stars get money, the stars get thanks, but few decent words ever find their way to one of a crowd at a guinea. Ah.